Hello, welcome to Dogner Training Academy. In this video, we are going to learn how to host an ASP.NET Core application in Google Cloud Platform. So if you didn't know about the Google Cloud Platform, uh, Google Cloud is one of the best uh, cloud service platform in the market right now. There are a lot of competitors for Google Cloud like Azure and Amazon uh, and also the Heroku Digital Oceans, but Google Cloud provides a free $300 instances to run. So without any delay, let's go ahead and run our ASP.NET Core application in Google Cloud Platform. So I just set up my account. Uh, so I'm going to go to the console over here after properly setting up my account. And by default, you can see the uh, oops. Okay, after properly setting up your account, you can see your first dummy project over here. So uh, I'm just going to select my project. And the first thing that I'm going to do is to activate my Cloud Shell. So in this Cloud Shell, this is a Linux based command line interface where you can run or host your uh, cloud platform tools or .NET, something like that. So I just connecting my uh, cloud shell. It will take some time according to your internet connection. So here I just get started on my account. So the very first thing that I'm uh, I'm going to check is whether the .NET is installed or not in this stuff. So if I type .NET iPhone iPhone version, it will tell us the version uh, which is currently going on. So the version 2.1.5.0 is installed in this machine. I mean in this instance, Google Cloud instance. And the second thing that I wanted to do is to create a Google Cloud application, a .NET Core application in Google Cloud Platform. Once we connected to the Cloud Shell, we should see that you are, we are already authenticated and the project is already set to the project ID. So to do that, we need to check uh, using the command Google Cloud, G Cloud, auth, iPhone, I mean, uh, space, list. So it just showed my account details and the credentials. And the second thing that I wanted to do is to uh, configure uh, my project. So if you wanted to uh, see the projects which are configured, uh, you can use the command gcloud config list project. So here you can see the project is equal to this ID. Uh, so all you can do is to see the project ID of the using. So using this command, we can see the project ID. So the next step that we need to do is to set the ID to our project. So for that, gcloud config set project and copy this one. And, and then just press enter and it just returned updated property. Okay, let's just clear the screen. So after setting a project instance, uh, after configuring all the project in our Google Cloud, uh, the next thing is I'm going to create a project folder. So for that, I'm going to use the command make directory, ASP.NET Core. So I'm going to change my directory to ASP.NET Core. And, and then if you list something, it will be empty. So I'm going to create a new 
web hyphen hyphen art individual okay the, yeah instead of web all I need to do is to use MVC So it will take some time to create uh, instance in order. Uh, yeah, it just restored all the packages, NuGet packages required. So next, uh, if we see the list of directories, we can see the all the files and folders uh, which is uh, present in the ASP.NET Core. We also have in app.db SQLite file. So to run this application, here's an interesting thing. To run this application, all we need to do is to run hyphen hyphen urls is equal to http hyphen local host and set the port number 8080. So here, the, basically, the whole host number 8080 is the production value of the ASP.NET Core default production value. So if you click something, uh, this one, this link, and you can see that our ASP.NET Core application is running in the Google Cloud. See the, all the features will be available. You can create a login account, chain universe, or run a training academy at gmail.com. So here it is. Everything is working fine. You can see all the basic functionality is working perfectly in the cloud. And this is just, uh, this can be just used for development purpose. But if we wanted to uh, submit an a, a app in a production or in a live stage, all we need to do is to use Google uh, Platform which is basically the G Cloud SDK. Uh, all we need to do, we need to use the G Cloud SDK. Uh, so if we wanted to, so this is basically used for production, uh, basically used for development, not production. And if you wanted to, you host or run uh, something in a production. We will talk about the G Cloud SDK in later videos. And if I get about 100 likes in this video, I'm going to continue the Google Cloud platform with HP.NET or basically .NET Core. So we, I'm actually going to run my Angular HP.NET Core Angular series using this Google Cloud instance. Instead of running those stuff in locally, it will be very helpful for you uh, to learn about these kind of DevOps things. So that's it for this video. If you have any queries, if you like the video, please subscribe uh, or like the video and share with your friends. And if you have any queries or if you have any suggestions on this video, please comment below. Thank you.